everyone. Welcome back to Actual English. I'm Jennifer Clyde. It's time for lesson 390, and it's time for viewer's choice five. Let's talk about accessories. Hmm. Accessories is a very light topic. It can be fun to talk about. Probably more enjoyable for women to talk about than men because uh, there are many more kinds of accessories that women could wear, okay, in addition to their outfit. When it comes to accessories, what comes to mind? Okay, a hat can be a type of accessory. You don't need to wear it, but you can add to your outfit. So that is a type of accessory. What else? Necklaces, bracelets. So jewelry is an accessory. Pins, for example. Belts can be a type of accessory as well. So for men, I guess, accessories tend to be a bit more practical. Women can really have fun with accessories. Okay, uh, let's begin with actual talk and listen to a conversation about accessories then. Here we go. Accessories. This topic is a dream come true for me. I'm all about the accessorizing. <laughs> Tiffany's tell. like, oh my God. Can't you tell? <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> Are you saying Tiffany's is bad? <laughs> well, as a guy, I mean, when my wife utters the word Tiffany's, I mean, I, I start to panic. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can yeah, see why. Yeah. That can break the bank for you. Can, pretty fast. Yeah. But. It's special though as well, so I understand it's something magical and special for for girls. So, tell me about accessories. Well, there's a lot of trends going on right now. Uh, there's a lady that I just passed outside that had five necklaces on, and while oh. you might find that odd, I actually mm. thought it was pretty cool. That's yeah. uh, an ongoing trend. Mm. There's also um, multiple rings, and I see that I fail miserably as I've just got one. Mm. <laughs> but uh, nice one. But I, I did I did get it at a really funky store in Hongdae. I love to go to Hongdae sure. because I feel like there's a lot of individual cool artisans as opposed yeah. to traditional stuff like Tiffany's. Sure. That's affordable and I mean the econom the economy being as it is, yeah. that's important. But you notice in every area of Seoul you kinda get a different feel for what you're buying. Well I feel anyway. Absolutely, yeah. And, and for me as a guy, I think it's great to express yourself, you know, as a woman or a guy with all these accessories and put things in your shoes or, you know, paint or whatever. It's, it's, it's fantastic. That's what youth's all about, isn't it? It's hard, it's hard, to, keep, and, it's hard to keep up with, but I, can imagine. I, I think Korea is pretty creative with what yes. they do. And yeah. I, I personally enjoy it. I, I think it's great as well. I yeah. kind of take half with me and half left out yeah but maybe tomorrow i'm gonna wear multiple rings sure <laughs> same here across the whole hand i'll be watching you <laughs> did you enjoy the conversation so obviously today's topic is accessories so the conversation was light very casual and gareth mentioned something about how he um is often scared by Tiffany's or whatever um, when his wife mentions that she wants something because he has to spend lots of money to buy her jewelry and accessories but he understands that women need these things sometimes not exactly need but they really really want them <laughs> okay here we go with the conversation uh, he begins by saying accessories. All right, the reason I have chosen this obviously easy word as today's vocab word is because I want you all to practice the pronunciation. Okay, we'll practice how to pronounce this word correctly later on. Accessories. This topic is a dream come true for me. I am all about the accessorizing. If you see, I am all about something, it means that you really enjoy it. You're very interested in something. Now, obviously, he's kind of being sarcastic. He's jokingly saying this. And he says, Tiffany's like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, Kelly goes, oh my God. Are you saying Tiffany's is bad? Okay, here we go. Well, as a guy, okay, as a male, as a guy, when my wife utters the word Tiffany's, I start to panic. It scares him. It makes him nervous, okay. 
When my wife utters the word Tiffany's, utter. What does U T T E R utter mean? Utter means to simply say something. Okay, say something. Or utterly utter. It's sometimes used to emphasize that something is great in extent or degree. But here we're just saying that、um, as a guy, when my wife says the word Tiffany's, it scares me. I start to panic. Okay. Kelly says, "Yeah, I can see why." Meaning, I know why. That can break the bank for you. Uh, break the bank for you, okay? Break the bank. Break the bank. Break the bank could mean that something is too expensive. It could also mean to use up all of your money, so you have no money left over, okay? So she's saying, yeah, I understand why you start to panic because that can break the bank for you. That can make you spend lots and lots of money. It will cost you a lot of money. That's why you panic. I understand," she says. "It can, but it's special though as well. So I understand. Okay, he understands. What a sweet husband. It's something magical and special for girls. So he says, 'Tell me about accessories. Tell me about something. Tell me all about what you think about accessories. What you feel about accessories. The point is, tell me about accessories.'" Well, there are a lot of trends going on right now. Trends related to accessories, right? Here's an example. There's a lady that I just passed outside that had five necklaces on. Okay. We normally wear jewelry, as we wear a hat, scarf. Gloves, anything we put on our body, we wear. Even makeup, we wear makeup. Wear on our body, so we often say that somebody had something on, was wearing something. Okay. In this case, this lady had five necklaces on. She was wearing five necklaces. And while you might find that odd, while you might think that is kind of strange, she says, "I actually thought it was pretty cool." That is the trend, I guess. We're talking about trends, okay? Accessory trends, fashion trends. Not exactly accessory, but fashion trends. The trend these days is, yeah. Exactly to wear multiple necklaces, multiple rings, multiple bracelets. I think these days,、um, yeah, the trend is also to wear what do they call them? Gigantic, very heavy, very bold, and big necklaces. Even very, very I don't know, luxurious looking. Okay, that's also a fashion trend these days. But she's talking about how she saw somebody wearing five necklaces. Okay, and she thought it was pretty cool. It looked nice. That's an ongoing trend. What does that word mean? Ongoing, ongoing. It means continuous. Something that is continuing without interruption. Okay, something that is steady. So you can also say that's a steady trend or an ongoing trend. That is the trend right now.、And、there are also multiple rings, as I told you. Multiple rings. Multiple means what? Several, many, okay, many of something, something that has many parts. So if you say multiple rings, we're talking about more than one ring, many rings, okay. So there are also multiple rings, and I see that I fail miserably as I've just got one. She only has one, so she's saying that she's failing miserably. Meaning that she has not really been following this trend of wearing multiple rings. So it is,、um, you know, fashionable to wear many rings, but she's saying she hasn't been wearing multiple rings. Nice one, nice one. He's talking about the、uh, ring that she has. I did get it at a really funky store in Hongdae. Remember, we took a look at the word funky before. Funky does have a negative feel to it, but even in this situation, funky means cool. Okay, told you, funky could mean cool, hip, 
fashionable, stylish. So she's saying she got it at a really stylish or a very hip, cool store in Hongdae. I love to go to Hongdae because I feel like there's there are a lot of individual, cool artisans. <clears throat> Excuse me, as opposed to traditional stuff like Tiffany's. Okay. As opposed to means in comparison to. Okay, but what about artisans? That's a vocab word. You may have heard of the word many, many times. There are many artisans in Korea.、Um, very skilled people, people that are skilled with their hands, especially. Okay,、um, craftsmen. A craft person is an artisan as well. We'll be going over that. People that are very skilled in doing something. Professional. Okay, is another、uh, word for artisan. But she's saying、um, there are a lot of individual, very cool artisans, professionals, people that are very skilled, as opposed to traditional stuff like Tiffany's. Tiffany's has been around for a long time, so she's making a comparison. Okay, she says it's affordable. If something is affordable, you're saying that it is not too expensive. It's affordable. Okay, not cheap, but it's not too expensive. Okay, it's affordable. It's affordable, and the economy being as it is, meaning the economy being pretty bad,、um, that's important. Price is important, in other words. But you notice in every area of Seoul, you kind of get a different feel for what you're buying. So what she's saying in this、uh, part of her,、um, well, what she was saying was, of course, she did buy the、uh, piece of ring in Hongdae, and there are a lot of cool shops, you know, very funky stores in the Hongdae area where there are individual artisans that make their own jewelry. But she's saying if you go to different parts of Seoul or different areas of Seoul, you can buy all different kinds of jewelry. All different kinds of accessories. Okay, absolutely. Here we go. Garrett says, and I think it's great to express yourself. This is pretty easy.、Uh, it's a given. Express yourself means to express your opinions, your thoughts, your beliefs. Okay,、um, in writing, for example, or even through behavior. So it's just being able to. Make a statement. Make a fashion statement. Express yourself through fashion, for example. Okay, through what you wear, as a woman or as a guy, with all these accessories. So you can express yourself. Show who you are. Show what you like by wearing certain accessories or putting things in your shoes, like studs. You can paint whatever you want to paint. Okay. These are just examples of what you can do to express yourself. It's fantastic, and then he says that's what youth is all about, isn't it? Yeah, when you're young, do whatever you can to express yourself. Have fun with fashion. It's hard to keep up with. Okay, keep up with. Perhaps it's hard to keep up with、um, fashion trends that are constantly changing. Uh, but she says, I think Korea is pretty creative with what they do. That's right. Now she moves on and says, I kind of take half with me. She takes half with her. What is she talking about? She's talking about trends, fashion trends.、Um, so if there is a certain trend, she takes half with her, meaning. She follows half of the trend, a little bit of the trend, and half left out, meaning and leaves half out. So I kind of take half with me and leave half out. Okay,、uh, but maybe tomorrow I'm going to wear multiple rings. Okay, maybe tomorrow I'll go ahead and wear multiple rings. I think I'm kind of like Kelly as well.、Um, I don't fully or completely follow trends. One reason is because I don't want to do what everybody else does. I want to be, I guess, different. So although I think certain things are cool,、um, I don't do it just because it's the trend. I maybe take half of the trend with me. 
do parts of it, do a little bit of it, and leave half out. And usually, after a trend is gone, <laughs> I start doing it. I don't know why, but that just tends to happen. Okay, anyhow, enough talk. Let's take a listen to the conversation one more time. Accessories. This topic is a dream come true for me. <laughs> I'm all about the accessorizing. I Tiffany's like, oh my God. Can't you tell? <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> Are you saying Tiffany's is bad? <laughs> well, as a guy, I mean, when my wife utters the word Tiffany's, I mean, I, I start to panic, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I can yeah, see why. Yeah. That can break the bank for you can, pretty fast. Yeah, but it's special though as well. So I understand it's something magical and special for, for girls. So tell me about accessories. Well, there's a lot of trends going on right now. Uh, there's a lady that I just passed outside that had five necklaces on. And while oh. you might find that odd, I actually mm. thought it was pretty cool. That's yeah. uh, an ongoing trend. Mm. There's also um, multiple rings. And I see that I fail miserably as I've just got one. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, nice one. But I, I did I did get it at a really funky store in Hongdae. I love to go to Hongdae sure. because I feel like there's a lot of individual cool artisans as a opposed yeah. to traditional stuff like Tiffany's. Sure. It's affordable and I mean the econom the economy being as it is, yeah. that's important. But you notice in every area of Seoul you kind of get a different feel for what you're buying. Well I feel anyway. Absolutely, yeah. And and for me as a guy, I think it's great to express yourself, you know, as a woman or a guy with all these accessories and put things in your shoes or, you know, paint or whatever. It's 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 fantastic. That's what youth's all about, isn't it? It's hard it's Arty hard to keep and, it's hard to keep up with, but I, can imagine. I, I think Korea is pretty creative with what yes. they do and yeah. I, I personally enjoy it. I I think it's great as well. I yeah. kinda take half with me and half left out yeah but maybe tomorrow i'm gonna wear multiple rings sure <laughs> same here across the whole hand i'll be watching you <laughs> welcome back everyone it's time for us to go over the vocab words and the patterns we learned today so it's time for actual expressions all right let's take a look at the first vocab word accessory accessory uh actually it's not really ack sound but more of a ick 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 accessory accessory okay accessory some synonyms are adornment or ornament decoration even but we know what we're talking about when we say accessory right let's practice the pronunciation two more times accessory in the plural form add an s accessories accessories good job what about utter as in the verb form utter Utter means to say, to express, even to whisper, okay? Just means to say something, to utter something. Ongoing. Ongoing means what? Continuous, growing. Something that is continuing without stop, without interruption. We talked about ongoing trends, the trend right now, all right? What about multiple? This is easy, multiple, okay? Numerous, various, different, assorted. These are all great synonyms, but this is probably an easy one and that's an easy one as well. Artisan, artisan, here we go, artisan. A person that is especially skilled with his or her hands in making something, creating something with their hands. So a professional, okay, as we see is a synonym. Craftsperson or craftsman. This is a word you will commonly come across. Artisan, craftsman. Okay, you will see it a lot, hear it a lot. Okay, moving on to, to break the bank. Break the bank. In the beginning, Gareth was talking about how his wife is really into jewelry. And um, Kelly said, yeah, I understand it could break the bank for him. Break the bank means to use up all of your money. Or it could also mean to cost too much money, to be too expensive. Following all fashion trends will break the bank or break the bank for you. Following all fashion trends will break the bank. That's right, because in order for you to follow a fashion trend, you need to spend money, buy things, buy accessories, buy this, buy that. So 
following all fashion trends will break the bank for you. Moving on to as opposed to something, in comparison with something, okay? I like pro baseball as opposed to pro basketball. So in comparison with, you're making a comparison, okay? I like pro baseball better than pro basketball. I like pro baseball as opposed to pro basketball. Moving on to our final one, to express oneself. It's easy. It just means to reveal your thoughts, your opinions, to express, to show, let people know what you think, what you believe in, in writing, speech, or even uh, through behavior, the way you act. Here we go. Teenagers often express themselves through what? Their hairstyles and clothes. So they often make fashion statements through clothes and hairstyles. Let's try this one more time. Teenagers often express themselves through their hairstyles and clothes. So what I'm saying by this is that through hairstyles and clothes, teenagers express their thoughts, their opinions, okay? Got it? Please do go over these more on your own. Job well done.